Hello and welcome to Fenextra. I'm Josie Waite and I'm here with Tams and Abby from Deloitte and we are talking about IFRS 17. Thank you for joining me Tamsin. Thank you. Where is the market with IFRS 17? Awake to it now. It came in um, on the 18th of May. It's now final. It's out there. It's happening in 2021. We talk to firms uh, in the UK around when they're looking to start and most of them are looking to start in the first half of 2017, which obviously is nearly over, so they have begun. What are they looking to do? The most important thing that they are looking to do is to understand the critical path to implementation. So that involves looking at the operational aspects and the financial aspects of what's happening. So what does that mean? So operational is looking at the systems, the timetables, the people, all of those data systems processes pieces to understand what, what works, what you can build on and what needs to change. The other piece is understanding the financial impacts. What's going to happen to your account? What happens to your story? How are you going to manage the business in the future? And all of those pieces. And why do we need it? Insurance companies have always been different in their accounting, both within, within the industry from each other, but also to everybody else. And so what the ISB have done with this standard is actually to try and solve all those issues that were potentially making insurance companies less attractive to the market than others where they sort of understood more what the accounts were doing. So the RFRS 17 should bring in more, bring in more transparency, um, consistency, both across the different insurance companies across the different countries and with other industries as well. So that, that's what it's really trying to do is to, to bring that sort of broadening of the appeal of insurance companies. How is it different? Well, bearing in mind those pieces that we've just put in, um, what you, it, sort of, it is going to be more complicated and look quite different to the accounts that we've had in place for insurers. So they will look very different, there'll be a lot more disclosure, there will be quite a lot of work to help the market um, sort of shareholders understand what's going on because they, they are going to look quite different to what you've got before. There will be a lot, a lot higher level of detail which again will be of great interest to some but not so to everybody. So working out how to get yourself round those pieces but sort of the level of profits within a company that's sort of held there um, on the balance sheet is going to be much clearer than it was before and on a consistent basis across all the different countries and the different products that they write. So that should help the market understand what's going on in insurance companies a lot more easily than they did before. Tamsin, thank you. My pleasure. And thank you for watching.